in Yeovil today at Weatherspoons to speak to some local people and gather their feelings about the state of the country. We've, meet, we've met a gentleman here called Ken. Ken, pleased to meet you. Ken, Hi. Hi. how do you feel about the state of Britain today? Okay, when you go to Tesco's in Yeovil, yes. yeah, yes. they've got a Polish oil or Eastern European oil, and yeah. then you have a Mason oil. If I went to Warsaw, yeah. Would they have an English oil? No, they wouldn't. And this is this so is so wet. So so. And two or three years ago, yeah. when I was down in here, they said, obviously the Polish side coming in here. Yeah. Yeah. They said these the idiots tell you red spoons. They're selling Polish beer. Yeah. But you wouldn't find that in Warsaw. You wouldn't find that in Poland. But yet they allow that to happen here. But it's got to work both ways. Yeah. And I can't see me going to. Probably get the fish and chips. No, no, it wouldn't happen, would it? They come over here and they can get whatever they want. But to me, that's that's wrong. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. You see yeah. the country. As you've said yourself, Ken, you've been here for 30 years. You've lived in Yeovil. You've worked in Yeovil. And now you're being repaid by these immigrants who are coming over. They're taking the money that you have paid into this local community for the past 30 years. They're taking that from you, and they're spending that on their benefits and their lifestyle. What right do they? have in this country? What right do they have to do that? You're a working man and I want to hear your opinion of how you feel about these immigrants coming over and taking the money from your pocket. The next, the next, the next come out, I'm now retired, but that's not the end of that. Yeah. I can take you only one, but my son is there. If he was out of work now, but matey there who's from wherever, yes. yeah, Lithuania, whatever, he was out of work, he can't get a job. Yeah. He's got his job. What right does he got to have his job and He's got no right whatsoever. No right whatsoever. And as I say, that's, you, that's, that's just a quite personal opinion. No, I would say that's just. Again, talking about. I'm not being racist because being brought up in Birmingham. Yeah. I was brought up West Indians, Pakistanis, Indians. It's a multicultural area. Yeah. yeah. Massive, massive. Yeah, yeah. A lot bigger than here. But my opinions remain the same. There's, you know, if they've got a qualification, come over and get a job, fine. Yeah, no problems. A bit like what I said to you earlier on, yeah. Australia. But if they haven't got it, come here. No, exactly. No qualifications. Come here, get nothing. The truck, the truck get no benefits, no, no nothing. Exactly. My son, my son lives in the house just around the corner from here. Yeah. Simply walk from here. Next door. There's four, five old families living in one house. Probably half of working, half burnt. Yeah. Could you get on Sunday they had parties all night long. All night long. They didn't give a damn We are published. You can't do anything. You don't understand your language. That's the local police. They don't. No, and I think the key thing to remember here is this is a local rural town out in the middle of the countryside. This is a town run by local people, people who have nothing to do with the big city, but yet they've been affected by the immigration crisis. Big time, exactly as Ken says here. And this is why we need to take action to reclaim this nation and ensure that future generations of Britishers don't have the same struggle as we do today. Ken, how do you feel if an immigrant came over and he took your job, how would you feel as a person? If you, you, were, you were working in a factory, an immigrant came over, and he took your job and you were made redundant. How would you feel in that situation? Well pissed off. Well pissed off. And I think that's how the majority of people in this country feel, because I'm talking to you as a person, but we need to acknowledge the fact that many hundreds of thousands of people in this country are in the same position. And as I said, Ken here is a working man. This is an average man we've met on the street today. And what he's saying is what the majority of British people in this country feel. We're well pissed off. It's time for change. It's time to reclaim this country and give it back to the British people.